love history. Did your yeah. wife keep her maiden name? Man, I tried to call you. Did you change your number? Man, what you wearing? You smell good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Muchos thank you. I love history. Uh, the pen is mightier. I'll back that up. <laughs> wow. Great job with the graphics team here <laughs> as we bring in Will Leach right Will, I can tell you, you're flattered by that. You're a guy who would love ah. to have a crown. I'm so glad I've been using that quill for years and finally have the opportunity uh, for you for it to show up in a graphic. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having me. Forget guys. about a felt pen. A quill pen is the way to of go. Of course. Mm, mm. Uh, you're terrific calm here looking at worst to first potential teams that can flip the script. And we see this sometimes in baseball. It doesn't happen all the time, but you can see a team have a dramatic reinvention. So the teams most likely go worst to first. First off, let me show you the list of teams and then we, we can kind of go from there and, and see which teams mm. actually were last. So the Red Sox in a very tough ALE, six games under 500. The Royals, 97 losses. The A's just dreadful. 60 wins. The Nationals were terrible. The Pirates, a 100 loss team. And the Rockies at 68 and 94. Of those six teams, you believe there's a chance the teams can go from worst to first. Let's kick it off first off with the Pirates. What makes you think, Will, the Pirates can flip the script? Yeah, I have them third on this list. And to be fair, they did tie with the Reds for last last year. I think they had a worse run differential. That's why I went with them there. The advantage they have, and we'll see this uh, as we continue to go on the list, they're in a division that's not particularly terrifying. And there's some talent here, right? You know, this is, I, I think that like the Pirates, there's a lot of young talent in the system. Uh, I think Andrew having Andrew McCutcheon back, I just think it's personally very cool that Andrew McCutcheon is back with the Pirates. I think there's a boost that could happen there. I feel like a lot of this comes down to someone like O'Neill Cruz. That is a guy that is kind of otherworldly talented as a player. He hasn't entirely put it together yet, but you can see how he could. And the, the Pirates have a few guys like that. Maybe beating out the Cardinals or the Brewers. Again, they're third on this list. But getting out of last, I have to say, doesn't strike me as particularly surprising. I would argue they probably might be better than the Reds this year. We'll see what the Cubs have going on. But uh, I think the Pirates uh, are, are the third least like third most likely team uh, to not finish in last. O'Neill Cruz, definitely fun to watch. And Brian Rounds could be on the move at some point. So who knows what yeah. kind of return they get for him. Number two, the Boston Red Sox. They lose yeah. Andrew Bogart. Trevor Story can be gone for much of the year. Chris Sale hasn't thrown more than 43 innings since 2019. But you believe in the magic of Alex Cora? Well, I do believe in the magic of Alex Cora, but I would also say that at a certain level, uh, uh, it feels like the way we've talked about the Red Sox off season, all offseason, they've already lost 100 games. Like, it kind of feels that way. But it's worth noting, and I kind of wrote this in the piece, if you were to put together an all-star team of all, from all the teams that finished last, last year, I think maybe half the players would be Red Sox. This is still a really talented team. And obviously, there are some issues there. Sale's a big issue. Story, I think, is, I think originally I had Red Sox first on this list. I think Story Story's injury uh, is very damaging to them, and they dropped them down one. Uh, but certainly, this is still a talented team. They're in a tough division, obviously, but also you don't look at anyone in the East and feel like they have all their questions answered. I think you can argue that the Astros are better than the, all, all the teams in the East. It's hard to see a team running away with that division. A lot of the advanced metrics or the uh, the uh, the fan graphs type stuff, they're higher on the Red Sox than I think the natural conversation is. They're in a tough division, but I still do think there's a lot of talent there. And the Kansas City Royals, They've got a new manager now. They've got a new head of baseball operations. They've got young talent there with Melendez, Pasquantino, and I know a guy, Bill Ripken, and many others are really fond of, and Bobby Witt. Yeah, it's funny. The Royals, it, it's it, the Tigers were so disappointing last year that we almost forgot that the Royals actually the team that finished in last. And I think that Royals did something they probably were a couple years over doing and uh, doing this year. They just kind of cleaned house and they're really kind of starting, not necessarily starting over, but kind of focusing on what a team like this should be focusing on. Uh, young talent trying to trying to build it around them. I think some of their moves have been kind of interesting. Also, I think the main reason this division is not particularly scary. Even with Correa back in Minnesota, it's hard to look at any of these teams running away with it. I certainly think the Royals are better than the Tigers. Uh, better than the Tigers. We'll see what happens with the Guardians. The White Sox have a lot of questions. I think the Twins have a lot of questions. I think clearly, if you were really to break me down on it, if you were to ask me which of these, uh, which team is going to finish out of last. I would argue they might all still finish at last uh, this year. I think uh, the way that the divisions are kind of stacked up this year, but of, of the six teams that finish out of last or even make a run for first, it does seem like the Royals would be that team. It's Vinny Pasquantino. How do you not root for Vinny Pasquantino? I, I've yet to find to find a way. Uh, no question. With that kind of a name and that kind of a handle, I love it. Uh, <laughs> Will Leach, make sure you read the full column. Great stuff, Will, breaking it all down, these worst to first. As you said, may not happen, but it's fun to daydream and imagine it could happen. We'll get dancing video next time you're on the show.
Oh, thank you for the quill. The quill has made my weekend. I have to let you know. <laughs> right, well, take care. That is Will Leach. Good stuff there.